video first of all let me just address it's been so long since i've last filmed a video on youtube i've just had so many things going on you guys know my channel is all about makeup self-expression and it's just kind of just being yourself so i've actually decided to film this entire look so i don't know what to really call this i mean some kind of mermaid i mean intergalactic vibe i always kind of say that but i mean <sighs> If you want to know how I've created this entire look, then just keep on watching. So what we're going to do first, guys, is I have nothing on my face right now. The only thing I've done is <sighs> shave my face, curse on my life. That's what it is. A little sip, a little prepping and priming for your insides. Oh. And I'm also just going to moisturise. Okay, all jokes aside, guys, first of all, what I'm <laughs> is I'm going to moisturise my face. Now I'm going to be taking this which is from OPV and it's their Rare Liquid Gold for Natural Radiance Nourishing Facial Oil. It smells divine. I've used this countless times now. I actually used this before bed as well and it's so stunning. The only problem I have is it does drip out a lot so you really want to make sure. That... See what I was saying? So I'm just going to lather that all over the face. I'm just going to blend this into the skin just like this. It has such a nourishing kind of smell to it, a really floral scent, which I'm just kind of obsessed with. Okay, next I'm going to take the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Now, I've never tried this before, let's see if it works. It has coconut water, probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers. I don't know what the hell that is, but I mean, it sounds like it's gonna work. Ooh, it's really moisturizing. Oh, ooh, wow, it smells like coconut. Ooh. Now, I might actually get the full size product of this. I mean, cute. Okay, guys, what I'm also gonna do is I'm just going to put my lenses in um, just because I can't see anything. Okay, so lenses are in. You've probably seen my previous tutorials where I'm always using corrector. I'm actually investing in some laser hair removal soon. <laughs> I know it's so emotional, guys, isn't it? I've been shaving for so many years of my life. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting some laser. Okay, so we're going to take the NYX Correcting Orange. Now, I've been using this for a really long time. And now we're just going to blend that out with a damp beauty sponge. Now when you are actually blending all of this out, you want to make sure it's really seamless. You don't want the orange to kind of mix in with your foundation, it gives you... You don't want to look orange, do you? So, okay, moving on to foundation. So I've recently purchased the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Illuminating Foundation. I feel like it's not really a high-end foundation, it kind of, you know, I would say it's a drugstore foundation. Um, I have the shade Warm Beige. Now, when I saw this online, I actually thought it would be my colour. It's quite orange. I added just a small amount on this Petri dish here. My favourite foundation ever, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. So that's three pumps and this will cover my entire face. guys foundation is on i'm actually obsessed with this finish look how radiant this is Ooh, okay i'm quite liking it yeah i don't really have any problems with really luminescent foundation which um you know i live for i don't like foundations that are matte um i like foundations that have a bit of you know radiance to them that really kind of enhance the complexion okay guys next let's hide these under eyes because i'm not selecting weights I'm going to use the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer and this is an SX06 like when it comes to this product because it's so thick and it's so creamy you need to use your fingers for it so I'll take a small amount just on my finger that's actually a lot of product and I'll just really look how bright that is it really kind of lifts the under eye I'm obsessed with this now I've been using this for almost two years and I have so much product left just look at that difference guys, how bright this side is, and this side is just 
I feel like when you use your finger, the warmth from your body really melts the concealer into the skin and that's why I really like using the finger and really dabbing that under the eyes just to give that really airbrush look. As soon as you've blended everything in, it looks quite crazy right now, as soon as you've blended everything in, it's going to look seamless and it's going to look flawless. So just like that. Now I'm a full coverage bitch, I love wearing so much makeup, I love, you know, exaggerating you know, I love that kind of exaggerated makeup style. I'm obsessed with it. So we're just going to get a tiny bit just on the forehead. We're going to really brighten the forehead as well. If you don't like your chain, do not use concealer on your chain. There's so many people using that on the chain. Why not big chains? I'm just like, you need to do something about it. I also use that as an eye primer as well. I'm just going to kind of melt that into the eyelids. Once you've applied all of the product, now it's time to blend everything in. Let's take that damn beauty blender and just really blend everything in. Now it's time to give some definition to my face. I have recently been obsessed with the Revolution Conceal and Define and Full Coverage Foundation. Now it is a cream product so I use it to kind of contour my face. I don't use it as a foundation. Now this is in the shade F13.5. The product itself, the formula is amazing. Um, the smell smells really nice. Now I'm also going to take a Morphe M572 brush to really kind of snatch the nose. Now this is a small precise brush. I can't use it with the applicator, it's just too big. So I always start at the bottom. On the sides. Now when I'm actually contouring my nose, I really like to bring it up to the brow. So as soon as you see the start of your brow, connect the product to the brow. Now recently, I've seen a new trick. Now I don't know who this was from. Um, I can't give credit to somebody when I don't remember who it was from. But what they do is, the, what the makeup artist does is, they contour above here. And I really like that look because it gives you a kind of pinch look here. So what I'm going to do is just apply some product just on the end of the eye and this will kind of really lift your face and it's crazy because it actually does work just slightly, just like that. It's just, it's an amazing trick to kind of give you that illusion that your face kind of, you've got facelift. Now it's time to blend all of that product in. I'm going to be taking a chisel cheek brush from Makeup Geek. And I really like the design of this brush. I think it really kind of helps you, you know, carve out your cheeks. What we're going to do is we're going to dab and we're going to pull up because we're kind of really sculpting the face. So dab and pull up, just like that. They're really going to give the illusion that you've got cheekbones. I mean, I've had filler injected in my cheeks, but it wasn't enough. So you've got to really sculpt your face using cream products. And you're just going to do the same thing. And Now when you go to the forehead, really blend that into the hairline as well. Just like that. Okay, face is looking snatch. So far, so good. Um, I kind of need a tiny bit of blending just to do it on the top area of my face and also just the nose. Now I'm just going to blend the nose in just with the kind of damp beauty blender. I feel like this works so much better. Now if you feel like you need more product, you can always kind of just go back with more. I always kind of use less just because you hear so many people saying this. Always use less and see if you know, less is always more, isn't it? Because when you use less, you can always kind of just use more. So now it's time to powder the face. Now I'm going to bake um, and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Now I kind of have a love and a hate relationship with this. Now at times it makes me look quite ashy and at times it makes me look like a princess. So I kind of have really weird kind of vibes with this. I'm taking the NYX No Filter Sans Filter Filtry. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's flawless. Thank you, Nyx. 
just all of the powder, just not the under eyes, not yet. We're gonna make sure everything is nice and bright. Yeah, I'm actually going to tell you guys, this foundation is actually flawless. I'm actually really shocked at how, I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. Quite similar, it, it has a quite similar finish to my Dior one, which is the Everlasting Perfection. It's really quite similar, but it's half the price. Okay, powder is done. Now, while we're waiting for the under eyes just to kind of set and melt into the skin, we're going to bronze the face. Now, I like using something which is quite cool toned, but has a slight orange to it. So I'm actually obsessed with the shade in this eyeshadow palette. Now this is from Sosu Jackson. Love their products. Now I sat down once and I was like, I need a new bronzer. And then I looked at this palette, I opened it, I was like, ooh, let's try that, it actually worked. But this is called Saviour and it's this shade right here. Let me zoom you guys in so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So this is the palette guys, love the packaging. And this is the shade that I'm actually talking about. Now it's a really kind of cool toned brown. I'm gonna be bronzing with this and I'm, I'm literally gonna show you guys how stunning it is. I'm just gonna take a small amount and really build it up. I was quite intimidated, but I mean, when it comes to makeup, you need to take risks and you need to take chances. Giving your skin looks really healthy and it just looks really natural. There's times where I want like an extreme contour look, but I mean, today we're going for something subtle because the eyes are going to be so dramatic. Now I'm just going to take the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate um, and I'm just going to kind of fill the brows in with this. Now I'm not too fussy when it comes to brows but people are actually really fussy. For me personally I don't take that long doing them. I'm just really quick I guess. So to fill in my brows recently I've purchased the Zoeva Wing Liner Brush. Now this is a wing liner brush but it works flawlessly with the brows. My brows already have a kind of frame so I'll just fill them in really really lightly. Guys, and that is my eyebrows done. So it doesn't really take me that long. I quite like my eyebrows to look not too thick and not too thin. Something kind of in between. A bit like my gender. <laughs> so we're going to add just a small amount of colour to my cheeks. Brown, Bally Brown Bronzer. Now this is actually a bronzer. I use it for my cheeks because it gives you such a gorgeous kind of, kind of coral flush to your cheeks. And it's stunning. You guys are just... You guys are going to see what I mean. So it's actually cracked, I mean, it's fine. Okay guys, so this is all of the base done. Okay, now guys, it's time for eyes. So this is the main event, what you guys came for. Now, for eyeshadow, I'm thinking of doing something quite, you know, mermaid inspired, something intergalactic, something a bit extreme which are most of my eyeshadow looks. You know, I hardly wear eyeshadow just because I feel like it's maybe for filming and maybe for occasions, but I just think it's too much. And especially when you're walking out the house, going to like some corner convenience shop, you know, you've got eyeshadow on, it makes a statement. Whenever I wear eyeshadow, I make it really extreme because I usually never wear that. So today we're gonna go for some mermaid kind of vibes. So, so I'm gonna be taking the Sosu Jackson Urban Bible Palette. And I'm going to be kind of sticking to the purples um, and the dark purple colour. Taking the shade Freedom, which is this stunning purple shade here. And it's such a gorgeous pure purple colour. And we're going to kind of wing this out as well. And we're really just kind of winging that out, just like this. Now this kind of part does not need to be really neat because we're kind of going to go over the lid with a neon pigment which is a purple pigment so this part just kind of needs to be you know you're just kind of setting the ground for before you apply everything else small kind of thing as well just dragging it out just like this just going to take this Milani crease brush just because this will really concentrate the eyeshadow even more it's 
so now that the crease is nicely blended, I'm quite impressed with this finish. So I'm going to be using a neon pigment. Now this is from a brand called Helen E Cosmetics. Now this is on Instagram. Now their pigments, I was obsessed with them. So they're called neon pigments and then this is in the shade Orchid. Okay, so this neon pigment I'm going to apply all over the lid. So I'm just going to take a small little brush and just pack that onto the lid and look how bright that is. Oh, this is stunning. Which is actually really irritating. Are you kidding me? This is... I don't know why people do the eyeshadow before they do the fucking face. Cute, so sorry, my camera actually died um, <laughs> while I was filming this, so I've just charged it back up um, and I'm going to show you how I do this other eye. So, this is the completed look on this side, this mermaid kind of vibes. Now it's time to apply the second pigment which is from Peaches Makeup and this is their pigment in Mermaids. Now, this is a gorgeous colour now. I've been obsessed with it. I've seen, you know, influencers use that online. It, it's a really weird colour. Like, what do you guys think? It's kind of blue, pink. As soon as you kind of shift your face, it kind of goes into like a pink kind of look. I'm going to apply just one drop of mixing, um, mixing drops, I guess, just on a kind of Petri dish. Um, and I'm going to basically apply that to the lid. I'll take a synthetic brush. This is from, I'm, I'm not really sure to be honest. And I'll just take a tiny bit of that product, just like that. And I'll mix that just into the mixing drops. And it gives a foiled like finish to the lid, which I'm just, oh. So I'll show you guys how I apply this. So I've not done no cut crease, nothing. Um, I've just got that pigment on the brush. And I'll just really lightly just kind of dab that on the lid. Now you will see some kind of fallout. It's completely normal. You can just kind of use a brush to get rid of that. Okay guys, so we've applied the pigment while it's wet. We're also going to apply the pigment while it's drying as well. So I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of that pigment and just apply that to the lid and this will add so much more kind of coverage now what we're going to do is we're going to line the lower lash line just with some white liner i'm going to be taking the white liner from nyx this is in the shade white Guys, time for mascara. I'm going to be taking the Benefit Bad Girl Mascara. Now, this is a flawless mascara. Like, it gives you really long eyelashes, which, you know, I'm kind of living for. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. But now, I'm only doing it on my top lashes. I'm not actually using it on the bottom lashes because I'm going to use something called an underlash. Now on this side I've used an underlash. So applying an underlash, you know, it kind of doesn't work properly when you use mascara on your lower lashes. So I'm going to apply the underlash on this side just like I've done on this side. Kind of just set my face. Now the only thing I have is makeup brush. <laughs> the only thing I have to set my face is makeup brush cleanser. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of this just to set my face because I don't have any setting spray and that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this look so I do apologize about my camera actually dying out um, but I mean this is the finished look what do you guys think
Just don't laugh, please. <coughs> Can we get a McDonald's? Yeah, we do an outro and we'll get McDonald's. Okay, now, man. Do it. Then how did my nose contour look? No, okay. my, my camera actually died, so what I've got... So I've kind of just set my face. Now the only thing I have is makeup brush... The only thing I have to set my face is makeup brush cleanser, so I'm going to use a tiny bit of this just to set my face because I don't have any setting spray. Okay. 